What is up everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Mike. I'm a full-time media seller. I sell on Amazon and eBay. I basically go to thrift stores. I do bulk buys. I scan all your books, CDs, DVDs, send them into Amazon or list them on eBay. I make a full-time income doing this. Today's video is another one of our one topic, one stop shop videos. And uh, it's kind of like, it's an important topic. Um, I thought about just doing a video just on this alone, but we'll cram it into here anyway. So the topic for the video is worrying about things you control, like things that you can control. So there's a million things that go on as a reseller that you can control. And there's also a million things you can't control. And a lot of people get caught up in the things you can control too much. And it's just a waste of time, right? Because you can't control it. So what are you going to do about it? But that's the topic for the video. Uh, we also have a weekly Zoom call for anybody interested. I'm like right next to the highway, right? The cars are flying by. Let me roll up my windows here. Um, we have a weekly Zoom call for anybody interested. Link's always in the description. We also have a members only Discord and a podcast now that you see. We just, uh, that'll be weekly. Members get the full length podcast episodes. Let me shut up. We're outside Wonders Found Thrift Store. While I'm in there, you'll see my Scout IQ screen. It's just a phone app that tells you whether or not you're buying it. Got my little R2-D2 scanner, so it's that easy, right? So this place is cash only. It's mom and pop shop. I usually do pretty well here. Fingers crossed. Uh, let's get in here and uh, hopefully make a lot of money. Let's go. Everybody, we are back at the storage unit from Wonders Found Thrift Store. If you hear ruckus in the back here, I'm going to spin it. I got my worker here today working hard. She's scanning uh, DVDs from a bulk buy over there. So I uh, brought her along. I'll pay her like a dollar. Maybe I'll, um, you know, take her out to lunch or something like that. Spaghetti, but, uh, please. She wants spaghetti from like this fancy Italian place we go to. But let me shut up. Let's wrap this up. The topic of the video today was worry about things you can control first we're going to go over the overall profit we're going to make right around 250 dollars profit and believe it or not our top three items are all ebay items that aren't books cds or dvds so uh the book section was pretty crowded so i went over i went down the way to the room they call the man cave and uh, i got all this stuff from out of there so first up here i guess we can start with the the cheaper the cheaper stuff we have a hazard warning flasher brand new here in the box 
you'll see the eBay screenshot, $45 it sold for. I paid $1.50, so I'll list mine. I think the cheapest one listed currently is right around $40, so I'll probably list mine at $35 and sell it quick. Next up, we have Power Pack for Outside Toro. I paid $5 for this. You see on the screen, one sold for 65. They took a best offer plus 22 shipping. There is one listed for around the same, around $60 plus shipping. So I'll probably list mine at 60 bucks and uh, free shipping. So this should sell as well. And then the best find of the day was this little guy here, Canon Power Shot ELF, wait, no, ELPH 180. Um, complete camera kit works, including uh, battery and chargers. So I paid five dollars for this, and these look like they're consistently selling for one hundred and eighty dollars plus. So I got the box and everything. I'll probably price mine at two hundred and see if it sells. So I mean, can't beat it, right? For that stop, we got a few books, but nothing, nothing exciting. All just your run of the mill stuff. So into the topic, controlling the things you can control. So the two biggest things I hear all the time that we can't control are uh refunds right that's like the biggest thing especially with amazon refunds you know it happens right you get frustrated you sell you sell something for a hundred dollars and it gets refunded you know a while down the road or right away but you can't control that right people are always going to refund your items and beating yourself up about it just doesn't make sense right because what's the point you you know you can't say no to the refund you're selling on amazon they can return it for any reason, you know, five years down the road, they probably could still return your book if you sold one. And the next biggest one is sales. So you can't control your sales or you can't control people are buying your things. You can do things to kind of counteract that to, you know, maybe increase your sales, but you can't control if people are actually buying your items. Those are the two biggest things you can control. The two biggest things you can control to kind of counteract those is, you know, for sales, you got to find more stuff, send in more inventory. If you have more items listed, more items available for sale at Amazon, of course, you're going to make more sales. You're going to make more money. And that kind of goes along with the returns, right? Make sure when you're outsourcing, you're sourcing quality stuff. Sure, there's people that are going to return brand new items, but take the steps to kind of mitigate the, the chance of a return. Don't buy books that are beat up, you know, CDs or DVDs that are scratched. The chances of those being returned are going to shoot way up because somebody just flips over the disc and sees a scratch and says, oh, this ain't going to work. And they put it back, even though you tested it and it does work. So those are kind of ways you can mitigate those two biggest things that kind of irritate people and people beat themselves up about they can't control. So that's going to do it for the video. I appreciate you all watching. Make sure to comment, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more used book videos. Bye bye. Spaghetti.